Hey folks, you're probably seeing this. Okay, that's GF Pod Global. Yeah, President Crazy did something for one of our members in the Five by group. A lot of you guys don't understand what them clowns talking about. So I'm going to try to fix this. Okay. Okay, got the picture. And then what you need to do is go back a week and check out Wayne's failure to leadership. That's a good example right there. You don't know how hard it is to get everything set up on this phone. I'm glad I'm tired and I'm glad I'm sick like hell. You would not believe. Okay, enough about that. So again, check out the Ungrateful Peasant, Wayne's channel. I just showed you that. What did Captain Crazy did? Well, who's the second biggest um, Navy in the region next to China? Australia. And what Biden did was stab uh, Captain Crazy. Stabbed our ally in the Pacific in the back economically. So his son, you know who, starts with a B, would get Chinese export money. Okay, by the time you hear this, it'll be a week old. I'm glad I'm sick. And I'm supposed to take it easy because I put too much stress on my system and the doctors don't like it. So by the time you see this, it's going to be late. And it really hurts America more than anything else in the world. And by this time, Either we rescued everybody, or uh, I told Wayne last week a hint. It's going to be like the Alamo. Okay? Everybody remember the Alamo when they got overrun? And I've been seeing the, the Taliban's not that smart. They can't even get a black off copter off the ground. They just hover and bounce around on the ground. And all the news media says, see how the Taliban is wonderfully mastering all leftover weapons behind? No, they're not. Okay, I know better. A lot of that heavy equipment is going to China, Iran, and Pakistan. Most likely Pakistan. Because they're already sending the pilots to the beginning of the Biocops to, to there. Now, this offset the balance in India. You have a nuclear equipped nation, Pakistan, and you have American technology, the advanced stuff, not the crappy stuff you give to the Afghan Taliban, because they're still thinking 7th century. Oh, we got a jeep. That's wonderful. Or we got a, what the hell is it? Oh, it's armored truck. Can we drive it? Uh, one, yes. The other one, we can't figure out. Uh, give that to the Chinese. They're going to keep the stuff that they can run. The rest of the stuff is going over to those nations. So in the axis of evil, Iran, Pakistan, China is going to get the three biggest cuts. Okay, out of the U.S. booty out there, thanks to President uh, to Captain Crazy. Korea is mad because they're getting like. Oh, yeah, we'll give you some stuff. Don't worry. Meanwhile, they're eating children in North Korea because they're starving to death. And they're asking China for food. And here's China answer. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to you. Because now their new sweetheart is the Taliban. And they're happy as hell. North Korea is like, okay, you forgot about us. And you treat us like a kicked dog in the nuts. I don't think they're getting very happy. And Russia is making them know, like, hey, we know how bad you're eating your own kids. So let us help you and you could get back at China. Yeah, nobody ever listens to Uncle Al. Ugh. So I have to take it fairly easy. So I'll catch you later, folks. You have a nice day. And remember, do something nice to your local fellow man. Take a vet out to lunch. Spend time with a disabled per person. Work at your church phone lines. 
work at a food bank. Donate food if you can. You know, a lot of gardeners have donated their produce to help local families who need it. Don't just dump your stuff there. Make sure it goes to the proper individuals. But yet, nobody listens to old Uncle Al. And it's only me, and if I had the strength, I would run for governor. I hope Larry wins. Good luck, Larry. And have a first black governor of California and get rid of all this crap. Because Uncle Alan will take out the garbage. But I'm too sick, too old, too tired. I only got maybe 200 or 300 left videos, and I got to quit totally. It's not good for me. It's not good for my church. It's not good for my community. So I'm going to have to say goodbye as Uncle Alan rides off into the sunset for the last time. Catch you later, folks. You have a nice day. Bye.